One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Cullen, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corypheus, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlay and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. I promise we won't make this any harder for you than necessary. My apologies. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We, Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. So far. I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. I don't understand how you just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new. Only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. So, Bran used to be Viscount, and now he just follows you around? Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Something you needed? Have you had a chance to speak with Leliana? Away from work, I mean. Some, yes. Leliana has kept in contact, unofficially, of course, but it's good to see her again. Arguing with her in person is far more satisfying. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. Is there any news from Ferelden? How is your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. All good news, then? Not all, but most of it is, and that's good enough. I should go. Inquisitor.
Divine Victoria. <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. As you command, most holy. <sighs> Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes. A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Do you miss being our spy master? I think I miss the people more than the work. Josie, Cullen... I didn't notice how much I liked having them near until they weren't. We're right, of course, but it's not the same. Have your agents any news I should hear about? Are you hoping for word on Solus? I'm sorry, Inquisitor. I'm afraid I have nothing. Just rumors of sightings that cannot be verified. He's familiar with my methods and seems always one step ahead of me. It is tiring. Perhaps later, Leliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. Inquisitor, did you need something? I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Leliana's tenure has been even more disastrous than I imagined. There are things for the Circle of Magi. If you call it the Circle while they're in earshot, you'll never hear the end of it, my dear. The College of Enchanters is a ridiculous mess, but it's still a useful institution for training mages. We'll talk another time. The party, wasn't it? I hear it left the Orlesians and Ferelden's completely aghast. Andraste's herald, the Inquisitor, toasting a Tavinta Magister. Not a bad scandal to leave on. What is this ambassadorship about exactly? I believe my father set it up, but the Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart, so they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dread Tavinta actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. So they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. What did you do in Tavinta while you were away? I'll tell you what I didn't do. See father even once. Mother tracked me down once, which was... nice. I also went to Carinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexis's affairs. That wasn't fun. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. From the paintings of Liliana in that enormous robe, you'd think she was pregnant. Could cause a delicious scandal. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it. If you leave and come back, the chest gives you another. That's how we know too much. He broke the dreams to stop the old dreams from waking. The wolf chews its leg off to escape the trap. It always had a soul. The question is the answer. So, you and the Bard. You know most Bards are spies, right? You were a spy, Chief. <sighs> Look, I just don't want you to get... burned. Don't say it. Because then you'd be... <sighs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme, I understand you and Meriden are seeing each other. Ah, oh, 
Yes, Your Worship. I mean, we've just started, so... Oh, come on. Get in there, show her what you can do. Listen, Chief, there's this thing you may not have learned growing up Canary and all. Hey, I'm great at foreplay. Uh, that's good to know, Bull. I didn't mean foreplay, I meant courtship. Oh, well, that's a waste of time. You two are good, though, right? You need me to talk to her about... things? No! Uh, no, no. Thanks, though. We're good. The charges have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. I'll talk to you later. Any time, boss. Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because Canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, arse. Point is, the servants have no complaints. No asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice, and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. It's been a couple of years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Leliana's friendly when she wants to be. My people sometimes do things for her, like I do for you. All that blood and thunder just so everyone can live well an hour once around. Good lesson, I suppose, if there had to be one. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin, about the creators. They're not even demons. Just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? Did Varric, of all people, become the Viscount of Kirkwall? <sighs> A mystery for the ages. I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, I cannot be certain. I am making it up as I go along. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I thought you'd appreciate that. So what do you think of the Chantry? You ask me just to poke at me and see if I react, don't you? It is what it is. Most Holy's reforms are... Interesting, to say the least. I hope they last once Liliane is gone. Regardless of what I think, it could have been far worse. You and I both remember the dark times we faced. Sadly, others have far shorter memories. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. Maybe what they need is a quick reminder of that power. Only if you want to stiffen their resolve. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see you later. Farewell.
Hello. I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any earringing should go away in a day or two.